Bridget Mackay, and I'm an attorney. I work in the area of wills, trusts, estate planning, probates, and today we're going to talk a little bit about conservatorships. Um, one thing I want everyone to walk away from uh, this series of discussions on conservatorships is that it is your last resort. If your trust has failed, or there's some discord amongst the family and nobody's honoring the trust, or your loved one that you're attempting to be conserved is resistant to it, um, you know, unfortunately you're in a state of, or you haven't done any planning at all in terms of if you became incapacitated, then you will find yourself in a conservatorship. So please consult with someone and look at all of those options first because uh, conservatorships are not something anybody really wants to go through, whether you're the person being conserved or you're the conservator of that person. So what are they? Well, conservatorships, again, is a court process, much like probate that we've talked about before, where the judge names someone to take care of a person who has lost the ability to take care of themselves, both financially and um, medically, and their person. Um, in, a, in other words, that doesn't necessarily mean just medical decisions, but where to live, um, how to live, uh, everything about how you live. So your person, this person will take care of your physical needs. Uh, who is, you know, what are the roles in a conservatorship? Um, the primary role is the conservatee, the person who needs help. And those are typically, there's two different types of conservatorship. There's just a general conservatorship that deals with adults um, and people who have lost capacity to function. And there are also limited conservatorships, people who have developmentally disabled um, functioning disabilities. And they do similar things, and, but some of the requirements in going through the process of obtaining them are different. I'm going to mostly, in fact, exclusively talk about just general conservatorships. The other person is the conservator, the person who is seeking a conservatorship for an individual who can't care for themselves, uh, their person, or their finances. And this person is um, typically a spouse or a family member, sometimes even a friend. This person can also be a um, an unrelated person or a professional fiduciary. And in some instances, it often is a government agency. The public administrator um, will sometimes petition to conserve an individual. So those are kind of the main factors of a conservatorship. The purpose of them is to gain financial and control over a person who is unable to do those things for themselves. Um, in my next series of videos on this subject, we're going to dig a little deeper into them, what they mean, what uh, is required for them. Um, but the takeaway message throughout is it really is something you want to avoid, but if you find yourself in a conservatorship, I'm going to tell you a little more about them.